Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Schulz. This week, we're headed off to Portugal, and we're going to start with one of my favorite storytellers, Elsie Spicer Els. You know, this is a story with some familiar themes, but the progression is something quite unique. This is Manuel Littlebean, or the story of how he helped his father. Long ago, there lived a man and his wife who had no children. I wish I had a little boy, said the man. I'd like a son of my own, even if you were not any larger than a little bean, said the woman. Time passed, and a son was born to this worthy couple. He was no larger than a little bean, and as the years went by, he never grew any bigger. His name was Manuel Littlebean. He caused his mother endless trouble by constantly getting lost. Sometimes she'd nearly step on him, other times he'd fall into the food and she would almost swallow him. One day, his mother couldn't find him. Manuel Littlebean! Manuel Littlebean! she called. There was no answer. She went outside the house and called his name anxiously, but there was no reply. She asked all the neighbors if they had seen the child, but there was nobody who had noticed him that day. His poor mother was very nearly wild with anxiety. I'm afraid I'll never see the dear child again, she mourned. I'm sure I've either stepped on him or swallowed him. You never stepped on him or swallowed him yet? comforted her husband. However, he added anxiously, I can't see what has become of my Manuel. The truth of the matter was that Manuel Littlebean had been swallowed by the goat. He was a most active youngster in spite of his small size, and he caused the goat a terrible attack of indigestion. The goat did not know what was the matter, and he tore around so wildly and caused so much destruction that his master decided to kill him. I simply can't be bothered with the goat any longer, he said. I have quite enough to worry about already with Manuel Littlebean lost and my poor wife nearly sick with anxiety because of it. He never dreamed that it was his son who was making the goat so wild with misery. When the goat was dead, he threw it out into the street. That night, a wolf came and ate the goat. He swallowed the stomach so greedily that Manuel Littlebean had no time to escape. However, he jumped about just as actively inside the wolf as he had done when the goat had swallowed him. The wolf was just as uncomfortable as the goat had been. What is the matter with me? thought the wolf. Never in my life have I had such a stomach ache. I believe I'm going to die. He ran away into the forest and crept into a cave to await his end. Inside the cave was a robber's den. Three of the robbers were there counting over the gold they had just brought back. When they saw the wolf, they were so frightened that they dropped their bags of gold and ran away as fast as they could, leaving everything behind them. Manuel Littlebean guessed that he was making the wolf sick. If I can only make him so ill that he will spit me up, said Manuel to himself as he jumped about his liveliest. And that is exactly what happened. The wolf spit Manuel Littlebean out. He was decidedly dirty and unattractive, but he didn't mind in the least. He saw the quantities of gold in the robber's cave, and his eyes shone. If only I can find my way home to tell father about it. He'll be a rich man, he cried. It was a long distance home, and several times he thought that he had lost his way. Finally, however, he saw his own mother's light in the window. He ran toward it as fast as he could run. Manuel Littlebean, what have you been doing? cried his mother when she saw him. Where did you get so dirty? Come, let me give you a bath the first thing. Never mind about the bath, mother, said Manuel. I have more important things to attend to. Where is father? 
His mother called her husband, and they both forgot how dirty the child was when they heard his story. "'Let us hurry to the robber's cave, father,' he said. "'We must get there before they return.' "'What about the wolf?' asked his mother anxiously. Manuel Littlebean laughed. "'The wolf doesn't have any stomachache now,' he said. "'He went home long ago.' They went to the robber's cave and brought home the huge sacks full of gold. It was enough to make them live like princes for a lifetime. "'I have the best and cleverest son in the world,' said the father. "'Never in the world,' "'Was there a son who was such a joy and comfort to his parents?' said his mother. Manuel Littlebean was treated by everyone as politely as if he had been big. And that is Manuel Littlebean, brought to us by Elsie Spicer Ells in her Islands of Magic book. And we see a ton of familiar themes around here. The small child getting into mischief, the robbers, the one, only one talking animal in the wolf. And yet it's still a wholly unique story. I love Elsie Spicer Els' tales. And, you know, I love the Portuguese tales. This is Dan Schultz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And don't forget, all this month, voting is on for the Podcast Awards. Head over to podcastawards.com. You can find the Folktale Project in the arts section. As always, thank you so much for listening.